In this video, I'm gonna go over some arm anatomy in Spanish, or in other words, upper extremity anatomy. And I did do a video on this before, but this one will have some new terms, some new things that you haven't learned there. So doing both is actually a good idea, so you can get some repetition and also a little bit of variety. So I'm gonna say each term in English first, and then I'll say it in Spanish. And I'll say it in Spanish two times, and ideally you wanna repeat it out loud every time I say it in Spanish, because you gotta really move your mouth uh, to get the, the best practice. All right, so here's the first term, arm. How do you say arm in Spanish? El brazo. El brazo. Shoulder. How do you say shoulder in Spanish? El hombro. El hombro. And the reason I'm saying el brazo and el hombro is because in Spanish you almost always include the word the before body parts. So you want to say el or la or sometimes maybe los or las in front of each of these body parts. Okay, so the next one is shoulder blade. How do you say shoulder blade? And there's two ways. I'll give you the one that I think is more common first and then I'll tell you what the other one is. El homoplato. El homoplato. The other one's kind of easier to, to learn because it's a cognate, and that is la escapula. La escapula. All right, so moving on. Elbow. How do you say elbow in Spanish? El codo. El codo. This is kind of a good time to notice the pronunciation. Uh, if you're a gringo, you might say el codo, but notice it's not codo, it's codo, codo, big difference. You don't really pronounce a D like a hard D in Spanish. It's almost more like a TH. All right, so the next term is forearm. El antebrazo. El antebrazo wrist la muñeca la muñeca and muñeca also means doll in case that ever comes up in conversation it also, it's also the word for doll hand next term is hand La mano. La mano. And as you can maybe tell, that's one of those words that you might assume is masculine, but it's feminine. So you say la mano. All right, next one is palm, as in the palm of the hand. La palma. La palma, or la palma de la mano, if you want to be super complete. All right, so next one is fingers, plural, fingers, or the fingers. Los dedos. Los dedos. Now fingernails. Las uñas. Las uñas. Or just la uña, if it was singular. All right, so next we're going to go through the five digits, uh, the fingers, in other words, but um, the word for finger in Spanish doesn't really mean finger, it means digit. So they're, all five of them are digits. And we're going to give them each a specific name as well. So first, let's do the thumb. El dedo pulgar. El dedo pulgar. And so that word dedo is really optional, but that's kind of the complete way to say it, is like the thumb digit. 
um, but you can just say el pulgar and that's fine. All right, the next one is index finger. El dedo índice. El dedo índice. And again, you could leave out dedo um, as long as the person you're talking to already knows the context of what you're saying there. All right, so next is middle finger. El dedo medio. El dedo medio. Ring finger. El dedo anular. El dedo anular. And you can, if you know the word for ring, which is anillo, you can tell it sounds a little bit similar. Anular has to do with anillo. All right, so next is pinky finger. El dedo meñique. El dedo meñique. So that's a specific way to say it, but if you forget, you could say like dedo pequeño, and they would probably understand that as well, right? Like the little finger. So those are that's some upper extremity anatomy. And if you want to see more anatomy videos, I've got a playlist right here that you can check out that covers various parts of the body. And I've got some other playlists, including this one about beginner Spanish. So it has a lot of really high yield, really useful vocab and some other things like pronunciation and basic verb conjugations and stuff like that if you need to brush up on your basic Spanish. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.